broke yesterday of Sarah Palin's $150,000 campaign wardrobe. But now we reveal how you can get Sarah, Michelle, and Cindy's political looks for a whole lot less. A lot of women right now look at the candidates' wives or even the candidate Sarah Palin and say, oh, I wish I could afford these things. Michelle Obama, Cindy McCain, and Sarah Palin's coveted campaign couture can cost thousands. Glamour Magazine's executive fashion editor at large, Susie Yaloff Schwartz, reveals how to be politically posh for less. She always wears something very fitted against the waist. Michelle Obama sets trends on the trail with classic style, often compared to Jackie Kennedy. Choosing bold hues, this blue dress is by her favorite designer, Chicago's Maria Pinto. But a lookalike can be found at J. Crew for $175, fist bump not included. The original Michelle Obama look was average about $1,300. Here, definitely under $400, head to toe. When Cindy McCain came out in the Oscar de la Renta red suit, everybody was talking about how much that outfit cost, about $4,400. Favoring designers like Oscar de la Renta, Carolina Herrera, and Ascada, Cindy makes a first lady fashion statement with tailored power suits. This Ann Taylor version is just $209. Of course, she perfectly accessorizes with pearls. We paired it with pearl earrings and a pearl bracelet, just like Cindy wears. And this is about $30, $35 from Carol Lee. She always covers up the cleavage. Sarah Palin accentuates her shape, but not too much in fitted suits like the $3,300 Valentino she wore at the GOP convention. Our Palin lookalike, wink and all, shows off a JCPenney skirt for $40 and H&M jacket for $59. Complete the look with glasses inspired by Palin's popular $375 Kazu Kawasaki frames. Everybody wants those glasses. They're selling them now at drugstores. At a fraction of the cost.